Since the release of A New Hope 38 years ago, the Star Wars franchise is one that has had a major presence within the public zeitgeist. Through its ups and its Jar Jars, I mean downs, Star Wars has managed to be culturally relevant while awing generation after generation. Later this week, the franchise will undoubtedly do this again. With pre-sales estimates already topping $50 million, Disney attempts to return Star Wars to the big screen in providing the first sequel to Lucas' original trilogy. At the root of it all, there are still some major questions that need answered. Number one, will the film cleanse us from the sour taste left by the prequels? And number two, will this film be a worthy sequel to Lucas's near-perfect original trilogy? With a cast of talented newcomers and a nice blend of familiar faces, it looks as though the film may be what fans have longed for desperately. In this video, I will be providing my top three predictions for Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Kylo Ren and Rey are siblings, and possibly even twins. They could be the children of Han and Leia, and represent the duality that Star Wars has presented so often. Rey may go on to become an agent of good, a Jedi, while Kylo Ren becomes an agent of darkness, a Sith Lord. This is very reminiscent to the story in the expanded universe of the Solo twins, Jaina and Jason. Like many other Jedi in the Star Wars universe, Jason is tempted by and succumbs to the dark side in an attempt to protect the people he loves, just as his grandfather Anakin Skywalker did in the prequel trilogy. Jason goes on to become Darth Sadus, a powerful Sith Lord, with subsequent stories building up to the two twins' inevitable face-off, as was the case with Luke and his father Darth Vader in Return of the Jedi. Although the expanded universe was declared no longer canon after Disney's acquisition of Lucasfilm, it is entirely possible that writers J.J. Abrams, Lawrence Kasdan, and Michael Arndt were heavily influenced by the story of the Solo Twins, incorporating it into the characters of Rey, who curiously does not have a listed last name, and Kylo Ren. Oscar Isaac's character Poe will convert to the dark side. This prediction is almost entirely based upon a curious bit of editing in trailer number 3 that was released October 19th. In this clip we see Poe and Finn bump and turn to look at one another. The editing is particularly curious because of the way it lines up with Han Solo's narration. He is telling Finn and Rey about the Force and its truth, uttering the line, the dark side, the Jedi. At the moment when Solo says the dark side, Poe appears on screen, but after the two bump, the camera lingers on Finn with Solo saying, The Jedi. The dark side. The Jedi. This coincides with what we have seen in earlier trailers in Finn becoming a Jedi. There is also a scene of Kylo Ren standing above Poe as he is clearly in anguish and a subsequent shot of worldly destruction. This could hint towards the production of a Death Star-esque weapon and its wrath being unleashed on Poe's home planet. This could perhaps be a bargaining chip or even a seminal moment in Poe's conversion. Perhaps this is reading too much into a 5 second clip from a trailer, but Star Wars has never shied away from duality and the diverging of paths. Having Finn barter his old way of life as an aimless stormtrooper in exchange for a life as a Jedi not and Poe barter his way of life as a pilot fighting the First Order for one as an agent of the dark side could certainly be an effective way of doing so. Many have noticed Luke's absence in any of the marketing material for The Force Awakens. No matter what trailer you watch, what poster you look at, or TV spot you see, they all have a common thread. No Luke. I believe this to be of no accident and actually quite intentional. Luke's role is obviously one that is so pivotal to the film that there should be no mention of it anywhere. Mark Hamill has also stated that there is a major spoiler regarding his character and if he reveals it, he will lose money from his paycheck for The Force Awakens. This brings me to my final prediction that at the end of Return of the Jedi, Luke Skywalker actually converted to the dark side and is now the master to Kylo Ren. Luke is to the Emperor as Kylo Ren is to Darth Vader. The Sith abide by a rule of twos, so either Kylo Ren is not a true Sith and just a wielder of the dark side's power, or he is a Sith with his master pulling the strings from behind the scenes. 
which could be the latter, with Luke filling the role of the master. While this theory is quite far-fetched, it is one that can be rationalized and supported. For one, Luke's failure at the cave in Return of the Jedi is of particular significance and has been the subject of much of the expanded universe. In the cave scene, Luke enters the cave and sees a vision of Vader. He goes on to fight and eventually amputate the head of Vader, only to reveal his own face beneath the mask. This could have been foreshadowing that Luke would fail in meeting his father and succumb to the same power that had taken rule of his own father. To be fair, it could also be a mere representation of the imminent danger that this could happen. Yoda also knew that this vision could mean trouble for Luke's future as he reminds him saying, The cave. Remember your failure at the cave. Yoda reminds him of this because of the pivotal nature of Luke's situation. Luke feared for his friends and the rebel cause as he sensed their imminent danger but had not yet completed his training in becoming a Jedi Knight. Yoda appeared to see a path similar to Anakin's if Luke did not have patience and finish his training. This is evident when Yoda reminds him, Stop, they must be. On this all depends. Only a fully trained Jedi Knight, with the Force as his ally, will conquer Vader and his Emperor. If you end your training now, if you choose the quick and easy path as Vader did, you will become an agent of evil. Luke went on to leave without completing his training, doing just as Yoda instructed him not to do. Yoda has a very good track record in the Star Wars saga in predicting future events, and his logic is very sound in this particular instance. He even reiterates a third time after Luke promises to return and flies away, telling Obi-Wan's force goes, Told you I did. Reckless to see. Now, I just Couple this with the earlier vision he had of him becoming the very evil he sought to face, and there is a real danger of Luke falling victim to the dark side of the Force, as did his father Anakin. Luke's conversion is also hinted at during his actual confrontation with Vader and the Emperor. The Emperor taunts Luke, saying, Lord, I can feel your anger. I am defenseless. Take your weapon. Break me down with all of your hatred, and your journey towards the dark side will be complete. It is at this moment when Luke actually tries to strike him down right before our very eyes. Vader, however, blocks this attempt, but Luke does give in to his anger at that particular moment nonetheless. This plays into the Emperor's hands as he does not want to die, but would prefer for Luke to defeat Vader and become his new apprentice, still following the rule of twos that the Sith abide by. Following their duel, Luke prevails over Vader and the Emperor even begins to gloat in his apparent victory in winning over Luke in saying, has made you powerful. Now, fulfill your destiny and take your father's place at my side. However, Vader ultimately helps Luke defeat the Emperor before passing away, but the apparent hatred was visceral in Luke, making the scene ambiguous to say the least. What did you think of my predictions? What are some of your predictions for The Force Awakens? Leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And may the Force be with you. It's a trap!